Hell did that. Long time no no videos. Between work, vacation, and work travel. I haven't been able to get out here, but Nick and I got out today and we managed to get a little bit of progress on on the engine rebuild. So the rear main seal came in, and so uh, we did that install. We put all did all the sealing, and there's a bunch of felt that goes in here with some <clears throat> with some uh, sealing compound, and we managed we you know managed to lock everything down, bolt everything down. The damn thing wouldn't turn, so. Ultimately, we trace this down to number number one piston uh, the, uh, down on the bottom there. That that uh, connecting rod is supposed to be able to center on that pin, and it had really seized up and it wouldn't move. So, so this thing was going in crooked and was torquing the cam, the uh, the crank, and so it just really. That was the cause of the problem. So once we figured that out, then we just sort of backed it out. We put everything in, torqued it in one at a time, and made sure everything was okay. And sure enough, that's the one. So we had to go and dress that uh, bush just a little bit down there. And um, just so it could actually slide and move. And uh, once it slides over to where it needs to be, then then uh, all that should be, should be, um, should be set. So this thing spins nicely now, and so uh, all everything is torqued down, ready to go. I just need to turn the um, the um, the tabs over on on the main on the uh, connecting rods. We put in the uh, the cam is in there, and we've just sort of just set in the sprockets and the timing chain, and essentially we're. Nothing is nailed down just simply because I need a few more shims on the back end of the of the um, um, uh, of the, the the mini pulley here. So uh, I'll or need to order those up, and once those come in, then we'll be able to set the make sure that these two sprockets are perfectly aligned, and uh, before we start thinking about uh, start doing the timing work. Uh, which will come as soon as that's finished. So when the timing is finished, then that all will be okay. Um, so the number of bags of parts and fasteners and so on is slowly starting to come down. And uh, so we're making making some progress here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, lock those tabs over. Then on the the top side here, I need to um, uh, first get the head ready. I need to do some painting to get that. Here, here's the head. I need to paint it, and then uh, everything else I think should be ready to roll on that. Uh, I put together the rocker shaft and assembly, so that should be ready to go in. I have some ARP bolts and studs to put in, and um, yeah, so making progress. I need to press the oil seal in on the timing chain cover and, you know, so uh, things are coming along. And so hopefully the next video I show you will have um, a lot of this stuff put together. All right. Take care, Dad, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, Dad. Good morning. Sunday morning. Thought we'd give you a little bit of an update. I had my buddy Nick come over on Friday. Spent just pretty much the whole day timing up the camshaft. We finally got it. Um, it's uh, it's close to 110 degrees, but just not quite. It's a little advanced, which is what a little preferable. We could just never get it to go bang on. So, so I've, we've got that set. And last night I got the distributor pedestal set. There's um, a shim in here that you need to get to get right. I managed to do that. You put a washer in and measure the gap and so on. So that looks all good. The, uh, the drive, the uh, tack drive is there. And so 
I am pretty happy with where this is at. And now I'm gonna move forward, take those holders down. I've got some ARP studs I'll put in. And my goal for today, at least, is to get the head on and the timing cover chain, timing chain cover on, sealed up. And um, yeah, be nice to, to uh, button that up a little bit and make a little bit of progress that direction. So wish me luck today and we'll see how the day goes. I'll bring you along if I feel like there's uh, something to mention. All right, Dad, a little more progress. Still Sunday morning, 10.30ish. Uh, I got the gasket and front timing chain cover on. Decided to try. There's a little post in here that um, will leak, and so I have a fiber washer on the front side and the back side, so hopefully that will minimize that. Yeah, so that looks... Just fine. I use some of the aviation gasket sealer to close that up. <clears throat> Put some studs on the top. Uh, these sort of three, four different lengths in there. This is, I just got this from the internet. And the kit actually sells, the ARP kit uh, has five and a half inch. So these, uh, there's a set here that's just a little bit longer than five and three eighths, but otherwise it should be fine. So I'm gonna get the gasket on and test fit the head and see how all that goes. All right, the head's on. I used a copper gasket and it fits nicely. Everything looks like it all lines up. I'm pleased with how that's going so far. I'll torque it up and call at least the head install good and uh yeah keep on moving all right all torqued up took it to 105 just gonna let it sit there for for a few days or whatever uh, i'm gonna store it at 105 and then when we finally get this thing started in needs to tweaking, then I have a little bit of head space on that, so, um, moving on, next thing is the pedestal. Okay, Dad, getting to the end of a long day. So, my accomplishments today were to put, get the uh, timing chain cover installed and sealed up. I got the head on. And I've got a rocker shaft assembly on. That all looks okay. It turns nicely. I think, I can't remember if this was on when I took the last video, but distributor pedestal is on. And uh, push rods are in. Everything is sort of, it looks like it's going, going according to plan. That is, except for one minor problem and that I know the minor problem is going to annoy me to no end so as you recall when I took the crank out well, I don't I have it spun around the wrong way there are four uh, grubs key screws in there that seal there are passages that go through the crank that seal that up and I had been just waiting to put those in just didn't seem like there was a big rush to do that well i got to put the new the two center ones in and then lo and behold here's one of them one of the holes right there <laughs> wouldn't you know it i can't get the damn screw to fit in there so i'm gonna sleep on it i'm gonna walk away and <laughs> see what i come up with tomorrow I could probably get the screw in there, but I just can't get uh, an Allen key in there to tighten it up. So it's possible that I may have to take this off, this off, this off, all the sealing end plates so that I can get to those, put install those damn grub screws. 
so I may have to go backwards on an awful lot of a lot of effort so I'm just trying not to think about it right now I'm just gonna walk away talk to you later